Okay, so I figured it would be a bit different to go ahead and record myself, my fat butt getting food, or I guess record my voice, um, and talk about the meta while uh, my fat butt goes and does it. So destroy the ever living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher at the 1400 ladder as I'm trying to drive around all these cars. I Don't you love whenever cars park uh, just on the public roadway in your neighborhood and it's like Mario Kart up in here. Anyways, I feel like that this format's really easy and I'm not just saying that because I'm sure some people are gonna comment and be like, Avery, you're a tempi player. Of course the format is easy. And as sorry i had to check the mic levels here uh <laughs> i haven't used this app in forever um as even though i'm a tempi player right uh it's not just because of that that i think that the format is easy i genuinely think that this format is actually really inclusive to new players like if you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh even though this is a tier zero format you can actually learn a lot in this format um with it being tier zero because outside of like voiceless voice and i guess tempi shameless plug um you only have to worry about snake eyes like yeah there's other decks in the meta like labyrinth and i guess you bell and i guess raid raptor for the two people in the back that are playing it but like if you're trying to learn like the meta if you're trying to learn like what a tier zero format's like i feel like that this is really good like if you prepare for snake guys i feel like you're gonna win at least 60 percent of your games um or rather your matches and it's it, it it becomes really um conducive to learn you know learning hand trap lines you know knowing where to hand trap and the thing is is like even Snake Eye, as good as it is, don't get me wrong, it's tier zero, but the board's really not that scary. They're not putting up any sort of Omni Negates. You know, for years, people complained that Yu-Gi-Oh! is like a game of, oh, the, all the decks just go combo, 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 summon out 50,000 monsters, and they've got 10 Negates on the board. Not really. How many Negates does Snake Eye actually put up? Apollos is a monster Negate. Maybe they put up Hope Harbinger. That's a spell Negate. But there's no Omni Negates now. Like, outside of Branded... Uh, I mean, if the player is bad, then they're playing Dragoons. But outside of Branded being bad and playing Dark Magician and fusing it with Albaz to make Dragoons, like, there's no Omni Negates in the game, at least that are, like, extra deck-centric. Like, the only Omni Negates right now that are in the meta is Voiceless with Skull Guardian. And, like, once you bait that out, you pretty much win. Now, I say that, and Voiceless Voice and uh, Melodious are my toughest matchups right now playing tempi even with the cash tira cards it's just super super difficult um you know if you end up in a situation where you only open up one hand trap and say you're playing against snake eye like if you just open up ash obviously that's not ideal because you know you're gonna probably just ash the poplar and hope for the best um but you know it it is what it is they're probably still gonna build a board unless they just opened up the liquid ass but, like, what else is really going on in this meta? I know that that sounds kind of weird to say because, again, we are in a Tier 0 format. But, like, I'm actually really enjoying this format. You know, keep in mind, I've been playing this game competitively for 16 years. And uh, there have been really bad formats in this game's history. Like, I would say probably the worst format out of all the years that I've played I would say that, like, the top two that come into mind is, like, 2013 Dragon Ruler format, um, and also, what was it, 2015? 2015 Tier 0 Necroz format, which not only, like, the deck was kind of fun to play, the intricacies of it made it not so fun, because, like, you really had to study that deck to really understand it, and you know compared to something like snake eyes uh, you, you're not doing you don't have to like take a college course to fully understand snake eye unlike with necroz um but not only was it just like it did reward good technical play but for someone who me was in school at the time i just didn't have time to do that shit and i i think i broke even on necroz when i bought everything and then i sold it all to the vendors after i scrubbed out went like five four to fucking regional um but, like, not only that, but, like, Secret Forces was such a difficult set to get a hold of. Um, Necroz of Brionics were vastly short-printed. Like, people bitch about short prints now. Bruh, <laughs> you didn't play in fucking Tier 0 Necroz format where, like, I think at their peak, Necroz of Brionics were, like, 250 to 300 fucking dollars a copy. Like, 
people were, are upset about thousand dollar meta decks at least back when we still had baron and boil load last format Woo! you were spending like i think if you got everything max rarity uh you were probably spending like fifteen hundred dollars on necroz tier zero like that that shit was was annoying and then you also had the toxicity in the community itself with people like patrick hoban having a quote-unquote gentleman's agreement with a player to side out Dijin release or rituals and then hoban quote-unquote sided in another copy of Dijin because he was side decking a second copy of Dijin. just crap like that just made the format so toxic whereas you have a format like this that I feel is much better compared to many other things. You know, it's like, if you had to put them up side by side, would you rather play in tier element tier zero format or would you rather play in this format? I would much rather play in this format because, you know, with tier, even with how they can combo off now, if this bitch will get out of my way on the road, <laughs> with how tier combos off now with even like light sworn cards and stuff, when they pop off, they pop off. It's very RNG, um, but when it pops off, it's definitely a tier one deck, but when it doesn't pop off, it's like tier two to rogue at best. I mean, I played light sworn tier element at locals, uh, just this past Thursday. So we're talking two days ago and, uh, like the player just couldn't get anything started. They weren't hitting anything on their mills. Uh, granted, I also shifted them, I think like in game two after I won game one. And like, that's a thing. Like, I mean, shifter needs to be banned. I mean, tempai is a shifter deck for all intents and purposes, but they just couldn't get anything started. Um, and so I'm, I'm just really enjoying this format. I, I'm really excited for YCS Indie. I feel like going into this format, I'm definitely favored to at least make day two. You know, I would love to win the event, but, you know, you, you got to start off with uh, attainable goals first, right? You know, you can't say, you can't walk into a YCS, and I've only been to like, I think five like near me because there was only ever been one in Florida that was in 2010 in Orlando. Um, you know, you start off with baby steps, right? You know, we're starting off with, okay, let's, uh, let's try and hit day two at the YCS. And then after that, uh, you know, we try and hit top 32, top 16. And, you know, we, we go from there. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just maybe, I don't know. Maybe it just comes from my experience. Maybe it's just because I've had more time now because I'm actually an adult for the majority of the time that I played this game. Keep in mind, I'm 27 years old. So I started playing competitively. Uh, like, well, I say competitively. I went to my first locals when I was like 12. I was in the sixth grade. You know, so if you're going to school full time, you know, you're growing up, you're a kid, you got to rely on mommy and daddy to drive you to locals. You know, you're not necessarily going to have money for the best deck. You're not necessarily going to be able to accommodate yourself to every format. Whereas now I'm a grown ass man. And really, you probably need to be a grown ass man to play Yu-Gi-Oh to the highest level of competitiveness possible. Um, you know, I've got this time now that I can spend on the game, really learn formats, learn choke points, learn tech cards, and be able to go from there. Again, maybe it's just because of the fact that I've been playing this game for years that I'm really liking this format. There have been worse formats in the game's lifespan, do not get me wrong. Um, but I feel like that this is definitely one of the better ones, but let me know down in the comments what you think. I just want to make this video, um, as my fat ass goes and gets food, um, to just see what y'all think about the meta. Do you think that this format's easy? Do you think it's challenging? Do you think it's toxic? Let me know guys. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.